All right, so a few months ago, I made this video about solving cores access issues on Amazon's S3. So you're trying to upload a file to S3 and then access it probably from a JavaScript web page. You get the error access control origin uh, does not allow this header and then everything is sad. And this video walked you through opening up Amazon's AWS console and changing the cores configuration with this XML right here. Um, as soon as I started posting this, as soon as I started sending it around, I started getting complaints, started getting an error on the cores config page. The cores configuration must be written in valid JSON. If you don't wanna watch the rest of this video, just scroll down and click the link that is in the video description. Otherwise, come along for a ride. So when it says the cores configuration must be written in valid JSON, what it is happening is you're using the new version of Amazon Web Services Management Console. So if we look at how this looks here, it's ugly and blocky. And then if we look at the new one, it's also ugly and blocky, but it has a lot more space between things. So this is how you know it's like cool and new and modern because uh, information density has been thrown out the window. So it's the same as we did here. You click permissions. We're gonna click permissions. We're gonna scroll down, 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 and you're gonna go to bucket policy. So this is the same thing we put in last time. It's gonna be an explanation of who is able to access the files that are in our bucket. We're gonna click edit. And if we add in our old one of these, if we add in our previous cores configuration, it will not work. And I'll show it, I'll paste it in, I'll hit save changes, and then you'll see unknown error and unexpected error has occurred. Policies must be valid JSON and first byte must be uh, open curly brace. So this is not the same error message that everyone else is getting, but it's the same kind of error message uh, and we will fix it right up. So if we look at what we wrote or what we cut and pasted, um, it's a configuration that has one rule in it. And that rule is where are you allowing us to uh, access the data from, like what are the remote web pages that are allowed, the origin, and that is anything. Any other web page, it's fine. You can just grab files from this bucket. And then method is, there are different methods whenever you are getting files from a web server. Uh, the normal one when you just visit a web page is called get. There are other ones like delete and put and post, but those don't really matter because you're only going to be using get here. So what we want to do is basically reproduce in JSON this code here. Now the worst thing that you can do is click the policy generator here. The policy generator is an awful, awful, awful tool that in theory is supposed to help you but is not really going to help you. Um, so for example, we wanna set an S3 bucket policy. We want to allow anyone to get our objects, let's see, where's get object here? Get object, maybe get object version. Um, we'll find that one later. Uh, and then what is the resource name? You can't just type the name of the bucket. You have to type in this horrible long bucket thing. So ARN AWS S3123. My bucket name is test uploading files, test uploading files, forward slash anything. And you're like, great, there, there we go. We did it, generate, pol it's awful, it's awful. Ignore this, ignore this. What you want to do is, you're going to click policy examples because following examples is always the best thing. You scroll down and you scroll down and you scroll down and you scroll down. We don't want this one. We want the second one, which is granted granting read-only permission to an anonymous user. They make it very hard to do this, I think, because everyone is always hacked by making their S3 buckets public. Um, so what we are going to do is we are just going to cut and paste this JSON here. So I'm going to copy it. And I'm gonna paste it right into my policy here and we're gonna go step by step through it. 
what version? This is the date that this kind of uh, method of formatting was published. So if they change it in the future, you can change the version to be an updated version. We'll leave it like that. Um, we can ignore public read. We want to allow people from anywhere, allow anyone to get the object, to get the file, and also get the version of the, the file. So what does that mean? I don't know. I just leave it here because it works and because Amazon suggests it. The one thing that we need to change here is right here. This is our resource ARN. This says it's a basically like the URL of the file. So on Amazon Web Services S3, this bucket, every single file in that bucket. Right up here, we're gonna copy test uploading files and we're gonna paste it right there. Now, there, there we go, we're good to go. By cutting and pasting, we hit save changes and now it works and it's great and everything's perfect. Um, we could also change public access here. Um, we can hit edit. We can say, hey, uh, we don't want to block public access. We don't want to block, we don't want to block, we don't want to block. So let's just leave all of those open. Like we want people to uh, have public access. So we're gonna leave all of those as off. And then our bucket policy is updated here. So the only thing you need to change after you hit edit uh, is the name of your bucket. So as I said before, I put this JSON on GitHub. You can cut and paste, just be sure to change this. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry it's sad. Uh, the old version doesn't work, but this new one will be choice, will be perfect, will be excellent.